Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today I want to talk about how the way your users see your app is just as important as what your app actually does. <laughs> Okay, so ever since my app Ear Agent was suspended last week, everybody's been very kind and helpful. They were trying to, to grant some advice and everything like that. So like, lots of things like I should appeal it more often or you know, I change the names, you know, go back to the Google again and do a second appeal and this time say that I'll change this, that, and the other thing. But one a bit of advice that, that keeps coming up is that I should rebrand it as a as a hearing aid application, right? So, so some of you guys know, I've talked about this before, I already have a hearing aid application. And this is one of the things that I think is the most fascinating about doing the app marketing ever, you know, ever since, since I started. So we did EarSpy, uh, it was called EarSpy at the time, it was, you know, it was red, it was kind of like this. Basically, all it was was it sent the microphone through to the headphones, had a graphic equalizer to boost, so you could boost up the sound of what you're hearing and if you had a Bluetooth headset, you can leave it on the other side of the room. It worked like a baby monitor, really. Right, so once we released that, we thought, well, why don't we release another one as a hearing aid application? So we did nothing different. We changed the package name. Uh, we, we changed the images so that instead of red, it's blue. But it like looks exactly the same, like if you looked at the two of them. Right, the code base is the same. In Android Studio, it's just two different flavors of the same ones. So we released the both of them, right? And EarSpy got thousands of downloads a day, right? You had millions of downloads, ultimately, before it met its untimely death, right? And then, and then Ear Agent got, it actually did pretty well. It got, you know, 20 or 30, sometimes it got up to 50 or, or even sometimes 100 downloads a day. So it, it did pretty well, but there was definitely a difference just in terms of the marketing and of the way that we positioned it, right? It was, the, one of them was sexy and cool and one of them was useful, right? But they were exactly the same tool. In fact, it used to crack me up because people would say, I've tried both of them and this one works better and everything. I said, that, that's not possible. It's the same code base, right? And this was just like, like a, one of the few times, well, I mean, lots of times we'll take what we've done and we, we'd reskin it a little bit, which is like apparently a bad thing now. Right, but it was like looking at two different markets. It was like rebranding something as something else. Right, so when, when we talk about doing that, I, you know, I could take that application and move it over to the other other market and say we're just going to target as a hearing aid. But it didn't have that sex appeal. This appealed to more people. Right, and this is something that I think that was really good about reskinning. I mean, I never really purchased code and reskinned it. I did one time and it went horribly. Right? So one of the things that, that I thought worked about that is that you could take something that works but then p package it up for a new audience. Right? So you know, one, one thing, I always find it fascinating that you know, brain training games, like they could just be called, like the developer could just say it's Sudoku right? or it's, it's, it is what it is or, or whatever and somebody says, no, no, it's brain training. Right? So like it's, it's still just a bunch of games. So they'll take something and repackage it as something else. Right, which is something that I'm always thinking about. So like if you have an app that's not performing well, you think maybe I'm just not, maybe it just doesn't have the edge that it needs. Maybe people just aren't finding it. Because mostly that's what it is, right? From a developer, we always think the product is, is what it is, right? That the product is key. So I could take that same code and then redistribute it under a different brand, under a different name, under a different audience and say, no, it's not that. But it wouldn't have that same sex appeal and it wouldn't have that same reach. You know, it, so if I just, unless they knew what it was from before, you know, that's the whole thing. So, you know, it, it's something that I've played with and it's guided the way that I think about a lot of things going forward. You know, when we, we put something out, we think we're, we're going to put out this bit application and it does, it does okay, right? But then we could just tweak a few different things. You know, we could change some image, image assets. We can change the audience. We could say, you know, hey, this is this is good for this, right? It, and just how you push it, how you market it. You're selling the benefits. And the way that this really hit me, the, like I was sitting down with a, with a prospect, right? And we're talking about stuff. He said, what, can you tell me about some of your apps? I said, I got this one, it's called EarSpy, whatever. It's, it's embarrassing to talk about, right? So, and he goes, so he takes it out and he's looking at it because he was all, everything was very serious up to this part in the meeting, right? And he took it, looked at it and he goes, Oh, so what, so what does it do? I said, well, it's supposed to amplify your hearing so that you can like eavesdrop on people or whatever. He goes, and he, he, he put his headphones, he goes, 
and it, and it was like, oh, very serious. They went, hey, do you think I could hear those people over there? Right? And it was like, I, you know, it was like his whole demeanor changed, right? It got to this kind of this sneaky, like it was like the exact same thing, right? And it doesn't do anything different than a baby monitor does, but it was that, it, for, it gave him this, I've got like an inside thing. I've got this like thing, you know, whatever. It was the way that he responded to it rather than what the tool did that was the biggest selling point to it. So anyway, just some of my thoughts for today. I think if you have an app that's not performing well, a lot of times, I mean, you just look at it. You know, how can you repackage it? How can you reskin it? The problem with reskinning at the moment is Apple will probably reject it, but I mean, just in general as a tool. On Google Play, it works really well. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. So